So, hello everyone. Welcome to a very special Pylicious version of our Friday product post. I only have the one product to talk about this week, the new Raspberry Pi. Um, we're going to talk about it a little bit and then um, go into a little bit of a demo and we'll be done. So, let's start up. So, here in front of me, I've got both the Raspberry Pi Model B and also the new Raspberry Pi Model A. So, let's take a quick look at the Model B. Um, so this is the Model B. Um, as you can see, we've got a couple of USBs. We've got an audio jack, a um, basic composite video jack, HDMI, Ethernet, and then some other various headers going on. Now, we've also got a micro USB over there. So compare that to the new Model A. This is the Model A. Um, the first thing you might notice that the Ethernet jack is missing. The Model A does not have any Ethernet on board. Um, it also has a single USB instead of two USBs. Um, we've done away with this chip here, so that chip controlled the Ethernet and the USB. Other than that, it is pretty much the same. Um, this one only has 256 megs, where this one has 512, so you get a little bit less memory. Um, it's still pretty capable. And um, we're just going to hook this up, show you what it can do. Um, you know, if you're not familiar with Raspberry Pi, we're just going to plug it in and show you what you can do with it, just out of the box. Here we've got the Raspberry Pi Model A hooked up to a monitor, mouse, keyboard, and USB hub. We're actually using the USB hub that comes in the AV kit for the PC Duino. Um, it also comes with an HDMI cable as well, so if you're looking for an extra couple cables for your Raspberry Pi, check that out. We've also got the Wi-Fi module that um, we sell for the PC Duino as well, and that actually does work with the Pi without having to load any drivers. So this is um, the interface. We've actually loaded Wheezy on here, so this is the um, interface that we get. We can go to our favorite website. As you can tell, everything is just a little bit slower than the Model B. I mean, everything still works, everything still runs. It's just not quite the speed demon that um, you might expect for under $30. But it does work, and as I said, the little Wi-Fi module works right out of the box. You don't have to load any drivers, you don't have to do anything. So if you're looking for an inexpensive one, we've got that guy. We've also loaded on um, this thing called Minecraft. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, someone here loaded on for me, and I, I hear it's the hot new game all the kids are playing. So as you can see, it loads Minecraft quite fine. So here we are. I'm told that this is the actual resolution of the game. It does not get any better than that. So for those of you that don't know anything about Minecraft, this is actually how it looks. I'm trying to find someone to fight, but I don't think there's anyone else in here to fight. I guess people really like Minecraft. A little slow at times, but um, this is the Raspberry Pi Model B. You can browse the internet. You can click on little blocks and make them explode. It's pretty rad. Can you fight Voldemort? I don't think Voldemort is in this game. So there you have it, um, a little demonstration of the Raspberry Pi and slight difference between the Raspberry Pi Model A and the Model B. If you want all the bells and whistles, go with the Model B, or if you don't need those bells and whistles and you want to save a little bit of money, go with the Model A. Um, we will be back again next week with more new products. I do have a lot of things on my desk right now, so I promise we'll have a lot of products next week. So see you then, and um, thanks for watching.